twin flame souls out there welcome to the twin flame awakening journey podcast and today is an episode 87 in today's episode we are gonna dive into 11 answers that you might have been seeking on twin flame journey and it might bring you some clarity i would like to dive to say also that each one of these questions and each one of these answers is much deeper Uh, than just one or two or three sentences but sometimes we need just to have this one word or one click one thing and we understand "Uh aha this is what is happening to me this is what I was going through and this is what I am going through and now it makes sense to me so if you are new here welcome I hope you will enjoy this episode If you've been here already before, I am very, very thankful and grateful that you are here and sharing this moment with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the light and thank you for the support. Right before we're going to dive into these 11 questions and answers, I would like to just say that I normally say at the end of the podcast, but just as I know that I see that the tickets are selling really fast, that some of you will not miss it out of those of you who would like to join. So as you know, on 8-08-2024, we will have a Lionsgate portal. I am offering an event on that time where you can join from your place over the internet, over the computer. And we will be doing a energy activation and connection within your soul and union and manifestation session. For those of you, of course, who would like to be prepared for that, I have it on Patreon, two sets of workshops each week that will prepare you for that what is about to come. You don't have to do any of these. These are just suggestions and these are just things that will help you to connect when we are arriving to the 808 portal. On 4th of August, although, We have an absolutely free energy activation and union uh, workshop. Again, there are two different time slots. You can join them. All of the information is out on Patreon and it's a free event. Whether you are a Patreon member or not, if you are on my YouTube, or sorry, if you are on my newsletter or if you have signed up or if you have signed up for Patreon, I would highly recommend that you can even sign up for Patreon as a free member because sometimes there are there are content that is for free, that are updates in case your emails can get lost or something like that. And now about the 808 portal event. Tickets are going really fast. I haven't even announced it yet properly, but they are already in a I think we have half of it is sold. Please get your ticket if you would like to join. The event is two hours long and uh, will be through online, Zoom, and I believe that it will be life-changing. I also would like to say that for me the 808 portal is very, very important. Because when I finally understood all of that, 808 was a time that back then I didn't know anything about portals or Lionsgate or... The 707 portal I had no idea of course now when I look at backwards I understand the power of the energies I understand the power of alignment another day those who are following me on Instagram were able to see how after uh, my surrendering and union on the portal time on Lionsgate I received after four and a half months at least complete silence from my twin a message and I shared that yesterday first time on my uh, on my Instagram twin flame awakening journey 111 all of the links are in bio Instagram where you can see about it and that's why for me this event is very important I have two events that are extremely important is the Lionsgate and the Shivaratri these two I I share I take my time on that day Because even though we will think of that everything starts from us, and it does, also we are affected by the planetaries. We are affected by the energies that are coming. We are one. So if you connect with the oneness, if you connect of being present on that time, 
you're going to manifest this in your 3D life. 3D life always comes later on, but the energy needs to match firsthand. The same thing when you met your twin flame, what did you feel the first? The energy. You felt the energy and then everything started happen on a 3D. So, and another thing is why I'm talking about it already today. It's because energy doesn't shift within a one day. We often have this understanding that when we do the energy work or we connect with the source, after being so disconnected for so long, we think that the magic is going to happen within one time. Meanwhile, it's funny that when the doctor is giving us a pill that should magically heal us, we can take it for 21 days or a month or sometimes even three months and it's going to cure us and we believe that I need to continue taking it. But it's the same with energy. In order to stay in the energy of alignment, union, connection, it's a constant wor work in that sense that I would say that the energy activation should be done in every two weeks, maybe let's say a month, once a month. Or, because when you connect, when you connect with your source, you have all the answers. But when we are busy of running here and there, doing this and that, and not even finding two hours to connect, it's very difficult to shift that energy, to become one, to become to the union. But I'm here not to say that how you should be living your life or how you should be doing things. I'm here to just to show you the way. And my previous episode also, like Maria said, you promised to me that it will get easier and it is. So I believe in energy. I, I devote my life for the energy of understanding it as much as I will be able to channel this into this world to make you to realize that things are more real than, than you think from your mind they are. And you're closer to the union than your mind can even grasp upon. But now it's about the energy. And uh, so yeah, that's in today's episode. I just wanted to say for those who would like to have the tickets, the links are in bio. Please get them in prior because once it's sold out, it's sold out. I don't know if I can do an extra event on that day. I guess three sessions is, is, is quite a lot. But I'm, I just wanted that you will feel the inner dance magic. Uh, so if you would like to come, it's up on the on the website. So let's dive into today's topic about 11 questions or 11 answers you have been seeking for and trying to find some answers. And again, I want to say this podcast is your podcast. It's your feedback, your things that have happened to you and the way you see it. Always leave a comment. Always share your perspective, even if it goes against my perspective. I, I, do, I believe in the openness. I believe of discussion. I believe in everything. Because if we shut down of certain parts of us, we, we get stuck there. And that's why we are collectively here. So every time you have something that has happened to you, or you felt that I would like to share this, Leave a comment down below or share with me on the email that is anonymous and I will be using this on the podcast. Remember, we are one and this podcast is one with you. So let's start with an effect that how do I know if someone is actually my twin flame? How do I know? And now the answer would be the knowing. You just start to have this knowing that this connection with this person you met is nothing like you have experienced before. And with this knowing, when you are connected, you start feeling like you are at home. That you have discovered something so profound about yourself and you're starting to go home. You want to go back to who you really are. You want to really connect of who you are. And when you meet that person, 
or that person ignites you this feeling, the twin flame. It's like your mind can shatter, your mind can tell you everything, but you have just this knowing, the deep knowing. So that's why when we ask that question, how do I know if someone is my twin flame, is your own knowing. Of course, you can always test and try out. Uh, on my, for example, the first consultation call, always we make a test. We activate the energy and we make a test to see if you're receiving it. But I would say 99% of the time when people have calls with me, they just know. But when we try to convince ourselves, when we try to convince, oh, you see, this happened, this happened, this happened, it must be it. But then you have this creeping, creepy feeling inside of you that I don't really know. It doesn't make sense. It's, it, it, it's like knowing that someone is your twin flame is like you know how, how much is one plus one. It's like you have no question over there. Even though, yes, the doubt is a very normal part of the journey because your mind starts to doubt for you. How can you feel so strongly about someone you barely met? Why this is not going away after all of this time? For some of us, it's 10, 15, 20, 25 years, a long period of time, and it doesn't go away. Or we would look at that, the fact that, you know, this person is not your type or you don't have anything in common or even a fact that you have never really met. But you need just this one moment. One moment. It takes a one moment. And your life is no longer the same. And from there on, you know that you are one. And you are not coming across with a twin flame information by accident. Few things I would say that sometimes it can get confusing that twin flame journey is very over romanticized and it feels like this romantic partner and this feeling is has to be the twin flame and when you break up it takes the time. But I would just say that you will start having that knowing and you don't even know where this knowing is coming but you just know i've heard so many stories today and i can just say that each one of you just knows you just know so don't doubt the knowing when the doubt kicks in ask yourself am i lying to myself am i trying to make this what it what i want this to be or this is really happening to me. My favorite question each time is when something so weird happens, so out of this world, I tell myself, but why should I make this up? Why? Why should I come up with this idea and make it now part of my life? I have no need for that. As a matter of fact, I think many of you who are listening to this podcast today here you would like to sign off from this sometimes. You would feel like, all right, I don't need to see these signs anymore. I don't need to feel these feelings, these energies. It's overwhelming. Can I just sign it off? <laughs> Can I just be go back to normal? Yeah. Well, I think we are normal. The previous life was just like a theater where you try to be somebody else, where you try to be not love and not connected. So again, I'm just going to repeat the same thing. You have that knowing. And the moment you meet, you have that knowing. I've looked it back on my, if I put it up on another day on my Instagram, so those of you who are following, you'll be able to see it there. I met my twin end of March and in April I had written on my journal, I have met my twin flame. My life is now complete. And uh, it's on one of my journals. It's not with me right now, but... I will put it out there to show that how quickly my soul knew. I have simply no conscious awareness of writing this thing. Nada. And you know that you have listened to my podcast where I say that I had no clue about Twin Flames until the separation, which in a sense is actually a lie. My soul knew it. And another day I was channeling and meditating and something beautiful came through, which 
uh, which I love, is that your mind is trying to understand while your soul already knows. And that's why you're listening to this podcast as well, because your mind is trying to understand what is happening. But your soul, your soul, your spirit, your essence already knows all of that. When you're listening to my words and when you're connected to the source, you know all what I'm going to say and what's going to be the next answer. But it's just the mind that tries to make sense of it. Although I'm going to say that the mind is going to lose here. The mind doesn't want to make sense of that. Okay, let's move to the next one. Because as I said, these topics require our episode by itself. But let's go for the next one. So the physical symptoms when you first meet your twin flame. So that's another thing. Is that something weird is going to happen to you when you f- meet first your twin flame. It's like you are you you are stepping into another universe you're going into somewhere else that you never ever been before and it's like your life changes from there on and things that you can experience are that your body temperatures changes you might start feeling extremely hot and you feel like your hands are sweaty you feel like you cannot breathe Or you might also feel that you become really, really cold, like you freeze, like frozen Elsa, you freeze. I always say on the energy activation as well, because that's what happened to you. You were activated Kundalini when, I don't like using the word of Kundalini, but I would like to say you were activated with divine love energy on that time. And it happened to both of you. It's just now whose mind is stronger to to ignore it when i met my twin first physically and we don't need to meet them actually physically not at all now i have seen when i do energy activations on online and when uh, uh, we don't need to and i know that this knowing and the energy started to happen already through just a text message which was simple as this that hey i'm working there it was glad to meet you and from there on I, I, now if I reflect back and again I require uh, I would uh, suggest you or give you a chance today to reflect back what exactly happened in your body because if you close your eyes and you go back there what happened in your body when we're gonna do the inner dance uh, session I'm sure you'll be able to experience this again I had a another day i haven't put this up on a website yet i tried to put it that you can do the energy activation and the divine connection in a union uh just two days ago i always say this as well this is funny you as my beautiful soul you start coming through me before we're gonna have a call this is so funny your soul is i am very connected with you like i said every night i go to bed every night and every subscriber I have, every person who has left a comment, anything they have said, I just close my eyes and I thank you. I connect with you. And every person I had a call with, I mean, I love having calls with you. I just love having the transformation I see afterwards. I, and it's not me. I'm just your guide and the light. But what's happening with you on that moment is, is, is so precious. And yesterday was exactly that. The soul... I had like two weeks, his soul is coming through, his name. And believe me, I speak a lot of people and not only on Twin Flame Journey. I have also my other part of the life where I speak a lot of people. I'm very active. And this person's name is coming through. It's coming through. It's coming through. I'd like to say original name, but I I just keep it. And it's coming through and it's coming through. Let's say Chris. Let's just say Chris. Chris, uh, but it's not Chris, but... It's just in case, because I didn't ask for the permission. And it's coming through and it's coming through. And I'm like, wow, it's been so long. I haven't spoken to Chris, but why is he coming so much through? And then beginning of this week, guess who booked a call with me? Was Chris. And it was funny. I didn't even tell him to that, that when he booked the call, it was, I received that notification 
two zero uh, sorry two o'clock two a.m. two two two. <laughs> and when he came on the call and he wanted to do channeling, I just felt in my heart that it says no, allow him to go connect with an inner source with a, with a, with this energy activation. And you know when he came out of that, how he felt, how he was back with his twin, how they were doing things together and how they were connected to one another. And he said, you know what it reminds me? The times when we were speaking, I was speaking to my twin, I feel I'm like in that moment. And it was so beautiful, it was so profound that in the future, like in very soon, I will be putting up this on the website as well, that you can do channeling and energy activation at the same time. Uh, I always say that with energy activation, we kind of need five to eight times sessions as in the beginning, we are still very stiff and we are holding ourselves back. But as usual, I jump from one thing to another. But when we are meeting our twin, or something happens in our body like I said either you start feeling really hot or really cold your heart can start beating so fast that it has never ever beated as fast and you'll be wondering like what is happening to me why my heart is palpating so quickly that I can barely breathe or you can feel that your body has like a pressure that you either you become very very small or you feel like you want to expand like you feel like you want to you're going to explode on spot or you can feel that you feel really really dizzy that was something for me i had three of these things i felt very very hot i felt dizzy i was like oh my god i'm gonna pass out and during the time i felt really dizzy the time was extremely distorted. Even though it was 45 minutes, I know because I know the distance where I was driving from A to B. It felt like a lifetime. And that also scared me so much. It really scared me because I was like, what is happening? The time is so slow. The time, and it wasn't that I was uncomfortable this. I enjoyed it. I was so happy in that. But for my mind, when the mind was coming through, I was like, what is happening? Am I going to die? And I couldn't even talk. I think most of the comments, we didn't even have a conversation. Because so much was happening in this 45 minutes that I still cannot grasp upon today with my mind. And I don't want to even. That's like I said, your mind tries to make, to understand, but your soul already knows it all it just knows and when we quiet the mind we connect with the soul and we have all the answers you might feel a very deep and unexplained pleasure like you feel sexual energy you feel like you are alive and every single cell of your body is alive you feel so connected you feel so happy you feel like I am the queen or I am the king and I have arrived home. I am just beyond of who I am. Or you have like you, you are, <laughs> this is, this was the hardest. That you feel how your body is starting to, let's say your hands or your legs or whatever, let's say your whole body starts to go be drawn towards this person like even with your mind you would say i would sit here i don't go close to that person you all of a sudden it's like your hand automatically goes to this and you can try to control this you can try to say hey what i'm doing what it, what is this uh, action here like why am i i don't even know that person or you exactly like you feel like you want you want to kiss that person or you want to be close to that person and you just met you just met like two minutes ago but within this one minute everything changes the next thing is can be that you feel extremely overwhelmed either you feel like you want to cry or you want to scream or you wanna or you feel like like you know that 
after such a hard day after such a hard challenge after and you have now won something let's say i don't know if i have any athletes or if i have you know you have been working so hard for this you have been getting there and now you feel like that oh my god i'm back here i'm connected <gasps> and then you feel like you want to cry so these type of energies and if any of you had something else that i didn't mention or something happened write this down I mean, I could talk about myself forever here, but like I said, it's about oneness. It's about all of us. Uh, the next one will be, how do I know that my twin flame is actually missing me? That even though you are in a separation, you don't talk to one another, you don't say something to one another, but you do feel that there is a connection. I would say that I have I was very in my ego and very much in a protection mode when I first came to this journey. I wouldn't even pick up my phone and just say, hey, how are you? I would never ever do this because for me, for my ego, so this is from the very much from the ego, it was like, I would never run after a man or I would never say to a man how I feel about them and this is not I'm a woman a man has to run after me so you see very ego meanwhile completely dying inside instead of saying the truth instead of allowing it to happen as it is even if it comes as a rejection it's just about letting it out another day I had that question that when often I get this like, oh, my twin doesn't love me or my twin doesn't care about me, then my question would be always like, but why do you even think like that? Why you are your own enemy? That you will think that someone would not love you? Someone doesn't want to spend time with you? What is that part of you that says that somebody doesn't want to be with you? I would say also, for for me i I'm, I'm very blessed i am very very blessed that you are here thank you god thank you universe thank you the source because each one of you i have met is so lovable so beautiful i mean you are extremely beautiful people and the question would be like why someone would not love you and do you want to know the answer Because the other one who doesn't love you doesn't love themselves. And we actually cannot love when we don't love ourselves. And we need to, and everything starts from us. So that's why when we are in the state of feeling that this person doesn't love me, this person doesn't want to be with me, the twin flame is running. No, they don't love themselves yet. They haven't let the love to come through. And please do not talk to yourself in a manner of I don't love myself or I don't, so, no, but my twin flame does not love me or my twin flame does not have connection with me. And I have made all of this out, up. I don't believe even for once that you have made any of this up. Because my question would be why? Why you should be making this up? What is the point of this? So just every time you find yourself asking the question, why my twin flame doesn't love me? Why my twin flame doesn't come to me? Then just see how you speak to yourself. So now let's go back to the fact of uh, how do I know that my twin flame is missing me? Of course. You might feel a lot of sensation in your chest area. Uh, I would say the solar plexus and heart chakra, when they are together, uh, you start feeling like maybe a bit of an anxiety. Maybe your heart starts beating faster. And uh, you, you might feel like um, it's a feeling like you are running out of breath a little bit. So that's a, one of the sensations where somebody is missing you. Or wants to be with you but is really afraid of telling you that 
or they are not even uh, ready to say you this. Of course, the second one is the most obvious. They will tell you that. They will tell you that I miss you. I want to be with you. I, I want to see you. Uh, you changed my life. You are here for everything. As I know, a lot of twin flames often don't talk to one another, so they wouldn't say these kind of things. But here is another example I would give you today. I give you so much homework, but all of the workshops will be out on Patreon, which are a longer process where you have a time to do that. So don't jump into everything in one go. Give yourself a time. Give yourself a time to process. Is that what happens in your body when you are missing your twin flame? Whatever. Just write these things down when you are exactly in that state of you are missing your twin flame. Uh, let's say you feel like you want to hug. And what is happening in your body? Are you crying? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling like you want to dance? Every all of these things, because this shows to you as well. Because remember, you are the mirror of each other. That that's how your twin flame is missing you too. It can get a little bit confusing that sometimes you are processing theirs, missing energies. And you'll be like, what? where that comes from? But normally I would say when we don't understand where it comes from, then it's from them. When we are in the state of feeling like I really miss this person, I really want to be with this person. But I would highly recommend to see what's happening in your body. Like scan your body during this time. And you will master this very quickly of understanding. Of course, the next thing is when the twin flame is missing you is sexual energy. And sexual energy, again, I'm going to say is one of the most healing and powerful energy. Do not hold energy back. When we had last time the energy activation as well, there were people who were saying they feel really heightened sexual energy because it heals you. It opens you for the source. It connects you. We have people who felt they are going to have an orgasm. Again, I'm saying allow it to happen. You're going to have the best orgasm in your life because it's the energy. It's not like a physical sex, which is an absolute disaster. It's just, I'm going to say once you have felt the energy and you're gonna, and then you never wanna have a physical sex again, like physical in that sense that there, there's no energy. So allow the healing, the, 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 the activation to come to heal you. So sexual energy is definitely, and if that's why in the beginning you might feel a lot of sexual energy, and again, your mind could be like, the way I speak about sexual energy today and the way I express it, I never did that before. Never in my life. I was very proper girl. Proper girl who doesn't talk about sex, who doesn't talk about the uh, body, who doesn't talk about anything that can be a little out there. <laughs> today, I've seen how it heals and how it transforms and how it makes you you to connect with the source and it would be a crime for me to not to say that so and then of course when your twin flame is missing you very very often it's the songs the music music is very powerful music vibration and many of you are communicating through music and i know i've spoken to others where they say that my twin is listening exactly the playlist I was listening when I was going through Dark Night of the Soul. Or my twin is listening music that refers to everything that you are me and I am you and I miss you and this connection. And like the music is very much like, doesn't make any sense why someone should listen to it. Well, then you know they're missing you. Music plays so much role in our connection in our connect uh, that's why we use it the energy activation music because it's a vibration so but i always like to say be careful what type of vibrations you are listening be careful what kind of information you consume be careful what you're doing in your life because you are the energy if you are consuming vibrations that keeps you lower makes you angry makes you disappointed and your music that it says, let's say, a lot of negative words. There was another day. I haven't got into that, so I might be wrong here. So, But I know Kanye West released how rap music apparently has some kind of a frequency that is holding, holding you in a lower vibration. 
again I might be wrong here I saw this very quickly I didn't dive into if any of you uh, saw this article saw what happened uh, share it with others that we all would know I didn't have a time so I don't want to go directly into this but another day I went to a Beyonce song and it's the cuff it or something like this and there was was written Another day I went to listen to Beyonce's song and cuff it and there is written, I, I would recommend to every one of you see, that for people who have epilepsy uh, that it can cause seizures, this song itself, the vibration of the song. So I just want to say, what is happening? So just to say, I'm not here to say that you shouldn't be listening. I love that song, but it was very interesting that it says that. So which means it's the vibration. It's uh, going to affect your body. It's going to affect your decisions. It's going to affect your, your, your connection. So every music, everything we are listening is going to activate something inside of us. And it's been proven. So I always say the news you're watching the information you're gathering, it's going to create your reality. So next question would be why there is a separation on Twin Flame journey? It doesn't make any sense. Why there has to be a separation? You met the person, you had a very good connection, you felt more home than you ever felt before, you felt so much love that you never ever felt before, you were like made for each other such a strong such a profound connection and yet you're gonna be in a separation and telling to each other that yes i feel this connection yes i feel this love yes i want to be with you but then we let's say we turn back to our partners or we we completely cut off the communication or we're gonna go away and you're never gonna see us again well this is part of the process because like I've said it previously twin flames are not like a normal relationship and unfortunately on the internet it is a little bit over romanticized twin flame is this person who came to your life is the one who's gonna activate you to come to your home to come become one of who you are it's a deep soul connection of oneness and that's why when you meet them it's the beginning of your very very deep spiritual awakening that's why you start seeing the signs that's why you're going to have voices in your hair often it can be that your whole life is going to collapse and that's where the pain comes you might be losing your job you might be losing your family members you might be losing your house you're living in you need to move, you need to shift like within this time and that actually goes together with an effect of the dark night of the soul. So I put two of these together right now. When, when there is a separation, I loved how another day a beautiful soul when she was at the call and told me, the separation is a first phase of coming home. Exactly. The separation has to happen there in order to connect you with you with one to understand that you are one you're not two separate yes you're two separate as egos you have different avatars you have different roles you have different labels teacher uh, singer lawyer doctor cleaner a t uh, painter dancer these are labels so ego labels we put ourselves CEO, start the founder. This, I I'm always against this, um, and I know this because I never understood the labels. And for me, it was it, it's just something I I never lived by. For me, uh, what matters is what people can really do and what they can how they can really change and shift. Whether they are CEO or whether they are, uh, let's say. Mm, a housewife which I mean both jobs are extremely difficult but for me you are exactly the same you can put the how many labels how many degrees how many things you wish 
what matters at the end of the day is what is the impact you've made. And, uh, and so often can happen. So that's why Twin Flames have the egos, the labels, <laughs> but you're one. Doesn't matter what the other person has or doesn't have or, or how they look like or where they come from or what's their name. And because this is just an avatar and the ego. And we also need our ego. So the separation is necessary because from there on starts the, the spiritual awakening. And that's why I say that twin flames are often very over romanticized. I'm not saying here at all that you cannot be with your twin flame. No, not at all. I'm sure you can. If you have the knowing when this is going to happen and how it's going to happen, and you have already got visuals, you have already seen it, you already know, then it's going to happen. I will be the last person to say that it's not going to happen. Things that have happened to me on this twin flame journey, when I first came to this dark night of the soul, I thought this kind of things can never happen. Never ever happen. Uh, I just kind of bring it in, which is funny because how, how everything starts to make sense by the time goes on. That's why I say, please write things down. When I was going through this hard time, now we're coming to the point of the dark night of the soul. I used to listen a lot of music from the lost frequencies. And lost frequencies, one of the songs was very profound for this journey for me was, where are you now? now you can listen to all of these songs. And so, he had a very good album, which I absolutely loved, and it helped me a lot during this process. It was one of the albums I used to listen over and over and over again, Lost Frequencies. Two weeks ago, by accident, well, nothing is an accident, I came across that Lost Frequency was giving a set here in Cyprus, where I live. And I went to this live set and and it was a beautiful pool party. It was like a magnificent and, and the music was coming and all of a sudden I felt how everything makes sense now. And I was so thankful for him that he had time to produce this music. He had time to connect with me on this moment. And now I see this from the very different perspective. But his music helped me to go through that. And now it's like a life, like everything, that pain, that sadness, that agony became alive, but became like a power like, and not a negative power. I know that when we use the word power, we feel like we're so powerful, we're going to destroy. No, power, power is also beauty. Power is also connection. Power is also feeling soft and connected. There is... Our mind likes that every uh, everything that we experience has negative and positive. Every word has negative and positive, but it's all in one. So when you're entering, and now I'm going to put actually really like three questions at the same time, like why there is a separation? Because you need to go home. You need to connect of who you are. You need to connect with an one. You need to become one. You need to become who you are. Can I be with my twin flame? Absolutely. I have no doubt in that yet. You cannot live and have a life with your twin flame. But it requires for you and for both of you to understand that you are one. No ego games. I text you, you don't text me. You said this, I will not say this. You need to eliminate the ego on that journey. But overall, your twin flame is your best life coach. If you are looking for a life coach, it's your twin flame. Your twin flame is going to make you a person or that soul essence and the person at the same time who you're supposed to be here. And you'll be forever thankful for this. I'm sure that those of you who have been from the beginning of this journey with me here, you can say, yes, it was painful. Yes, it took me apart. But at the same time, it was the most beautiful and profound experience and I would never give up. I'm forever thankful for that person entering into my life, showing me what is love, showing me the connection, showing me who I am and what I could possibly do in this life. 
and being my motivation, that pain of motivation of getting better, better, mm. better, traveling to the places I've never been to, uh, stop drinking alcohol, stop taking drugs, um, eating clean, connecting with the like-minded people, reading more books. Just think today again, wow, this is a lot of homeworks here. <laughs> I, I, I was sure because it's so deep, but there's so much to say. How much you have achieved from coming to this journey? What have you done out of this pain that has changed and shifted? Have you tried breath work? Have you tried the Reiki? Have you tried sound healing? Have you started working out? Have you achieved some next milestone, let's say a degree or a new job or new people, new friends? Have you read more books? Have you listened to something you didn't even know that exists? Just took, look at how much you have grown within this time. And it's all because of this. If you have been sitting still and haven't made changes in your life, then now it's your calling. Now it's time. Of course, now you have an opportunity with me to activate your source energy, your kundalini, your... And stay in that element. Stay to that union, to this oneness. It's so powerful and it's so amazing. I know we are often looking answers from outside. But here again, I'm going to say all of the answers you have inside of you. It's good to share. I know that when I was going through the pain, all I wanted was that I could talk to somebody. I could just say that, listen, this thing happened to me. I don't know how to get out of it. But what I was doing instead, I was masking it. I was so good at masking it. In a previous episode, there was also a girl who was at their uh, workshop another day and she shared her experience, how from the burnout, how everything she felt that it was only her actually happened to him as well at the same time. So when it's the dark night of the soul, and I just want to say that the dark night of the soul is not one night. <laughs> it's not one night uh, session. It's not something that you, you're going to go and today you're feeling really, really, really sad. And then it's going to, tomorrow it's gone or 24 hours later. Dark night of the soul is a quite a period of time. It's where everything feels dark. Where you feel like you don't want to get up anymore. Where you feel that your life is over. Where you can feel that you're going to lose everything that you have. Where, and you might lose everything what you have. You might lose your marriage. You might lose your job. You might lose your career. You might lose all of your money. You might need to declare a bankruptcy. You might need to move away. You might need to... Say goodbye to your old friends. You might need to do a lot of things that is absolutely out of your life. And like everything collapse like boom. And you feel like all you see is darkness. You don't want to get up anymore. You feel like nothing is making sense. And that takes a time. Although I'm going to really tell you here. You always have your spirit guides with you. You always have souls around you who's going to help you. Right people will show up in your life to help you along the way. Accept their help. Accept the journey. Don't stay in a mindset of my life is a disaster. I hate it. Everything is falling apart. As we know, in order for us, before everything is going to fall into a place, the old needs to fall apart. What do we do with a house normally when we have an old house? We break it apart and we rebuild it, a new one. Nothing is the same from the moment you met your twin and when you're going to have a dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul is going to wreck you apart. But it's part of the process. So, uh, the best, of course, you can do that moment is to call out your spirit guides to say, help me here, show me the way. And the moment you have said, help me here and show me the way, you're going to allow them to do so. You're not going to fight from your ego and hold on to what has to go. You're not, 
you might need to do a 180 degrees career change. You might need to uh, move to a completely another country. You might have some issues with the health that now you need to go and heal it, what your soul is telling you. So to keep that in mind that dark night of the soul is not one night. It's, I've noticed, I think for me, it was four months, four, four and a half, something like this. And obviously it and its own intensity, up and down. And then recovery was there as well. And so it's a quite a long period of time. So those of you who've been thinking I've been a one year or two years or three years, another day I got the comment that, oh, I've been an eight years of this journey, nothing to compare with you. I would really like to say that let's not compare. <laughs> let's not compare who is longer, who is shorter. Um, because each one of us has its own journey. Each one of us has its own time limit. Each one of us has the way we're going to do that. It's the same like women. I know a lot of women are listening to me. Where other women would say to you about your children or giving birth, for example. Oh, like I could say, I gave birth within two hours. Do the same. What's your, what's your problem? But within a two hours, I might have experienced exactly what you experienced it within 24 hours of giving birth. It's just my pain went faster, quicker. I experienced everything really, really fast and I had to be ready for it. While for you had time to gradually get used to it that. So I don't like comparing things within a time and saying, now it has to happen. If you're gonna do this, I believe that we all have the time and process what i truly believe in is the energy work i truly believe in this and maybe i'm wrong but this all what i have been teaching you this all what i've been telling you worked for me and that's why i am telling you this i'm not making these things up one day when my book is ready you can read in detail how painful it was and that's why also i would like to say we can't compare the pain. Someone's ten, someone's ten pain can be someone's six pain. It's like, depends how much we can handle. In my community, and I'm very, very blessed. I, I, I'm very blessed. Each one of you who has showed up my workshops, who have shared the call with me, who's been here. You, you have given all the time this, um, you never compare. You're there to create a space for others to help them, to connect with them. Twin Flame journey is not a race. It's not who's gonna be the winner, who's gonna be the loser. It's, it's not that, it's a journey. And the end is up to each one of you. The end goal, how it's gonna be, is up to each one of you. The price you're looking for is up to you, not for that you are the winner if you are married to your twin flame or you are the winner if you are in the inner peace. I don't like comparisons. It's from the mind. Everyone's journey is unique. Everyone's time is unique. Allow it to happen. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't leave the comments or say things because it's part of your journey as well. But I just would like to say that Everyone's journey is unique. I haven't met a single journey that is exact one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, and let's go to the last three questions that I have here is, can I manifest my twin flame back to my life? And uh, here I wanna say that your twin is you. So now, now let's rephrase the question. Can I manifest myself back to life can I manifest myself to be alive connected and source and how do you answer for this question because remember your twin flame is you who do you have to manifest is you yourself the connection within you if you can do that then you have the answer And you can ask the questions again, 
Am I living my life for my purpose? Do I feel free of living my life as I am? Do I do what I really want to do? Do I really live for my purpose? Do I serve the world in my highest possible way? Think about that. If you do, then you are aligned and you are already in a union, in a manifestation and you are... I would talk about this on the next episode because today's episode is very long about the free will that you do all of the work you do all of this but there is no like the twin decides no i will not step over my ego i have rules and i will keep going it this way and uh, and so we go to the next question is when will the pain stop and this brings me back to the big what i was talking about before everyone's pain and everyone's journey is unique there is no such a thing that two a b c d e f g h do these tasks and then the pain will stop and then do this and then do that and then it this how i see this is of course number one the pain will start st- uh, getting less when we start recognizing the pain when we're we going to get comfortable of being in this pain and connecting with this pain Number two, of course, in my opinion, is the energy work. Find yourself someone that can help you to go through. You can book a call with me or you can find some other guide who comes to your way and helps you on this. Energy work is very important. We cannot with just talking to solve it. Even though on my podcast, you are listening and you're gathering a lot of information. You need to put this information into an action that the energy will start to happen if i tell you meditate if i tell you take a breath work come to do the energy activation the divine source energy activation on 4th of august free event sign up on patreon come and join us you don't need to pay anything you don't need to do you can just discover something unknown uh sound healing reiki mm, moving your body yoga uh, reading books of course the alchemist for the summer if you're looking to read the alchemist is the book the power of now is the book the art of letting go choose them take them the secret read the secret for example if you haven't read any one of you who have a um, recommendation go ahead Actually, just this reminded me that on 19th of July on Netflix is coming out this movie. Um, And it's, I will, I will put it out on Instagram and maybe on the, on the hair. And it's here in Cyprus and it's such a twin flame movie that anything else can be a more than twin flame movie. And when I saw this trailer, I just started laughing because I was like, of course, because the energy here in Cyprus and the whole thing is fantastic. And of course, those of you who are coming to the retreat. I highly recommend you to take your time to watch it on Netflix. Retreat, talking of retreat, we have only final place within yesterday available. So two of them were registered yesterday. One place is left. I'm sending out the email tomorrow with in detail how to pay, how to secure a spot, what you have to do, what's going to happen. And... uh, and if it's sold out, it's sold out. We'll see you next year. But get your spot if you feel like 11.11 is talking to you and you would like to you'd like to experience something so profound. Uh, so the, about the pain, the pain will stop when we start recognizing it. We kind of run from it. The more you're running from the pain, the more you're trying to find, let's say, painkillers for your pain, alcohol, drugs, substances, Uh, burning yourself in a sense of let's say partying or being in a toxic environment the more you're going to feel the pain and don't do that to yourself please please don't do it and the final question would be that what happens when your twin flame returns back to your life and you're going to have so-called union again this episode has to be in a in a many layers but i'm saying it's going to say that if you haven't heard from your twin flame, let's say you met your twin flame, you had this 
intense connection, a lot is happening, and then it was a radio silence. And for a very long time, you haven't heard anything from them. And then all of a sudden, they pop back. Then you know that you are on this journey. Because who is your true twin flame will pop back to your life, and especially if you have done the work. But then another thing is, the twin flame can pop back to your life many times. Many times they can come forward and then disappear again and you feel like, what's the thing? Well, they came to show you something. They came to show you that what's the next step? Like I said, we are often over romanticizing it. Until we are not doing what we're supposed to do, it's not going to happen because you need to have the same frequency. But your twin flame constantly will return one way or another back to your life. A weird things will happen that you would say, and I hear this over and over again, where people on a call said to me, my, I will never meet my twin flame in real life again. It's impossible. My twin flame will never come here. And guess what happens? A few months later, they say, I just had dinner with my twin flame. But a few months from prior, I heard it will never happen. It's impossible. This, will, this is insane. We are living in a different countries. We don't even speak the same language. We don't even have this and this and this. And yet, it happens. That's why I would just be very careful with the words. I say, I will never or this and that. And then the final union. And actually, this is funny now. The final union. When you're really going to come into the, into the terms, maybe together, maybe not together. But you no longer worry about the union at all. It's like you're already living a union. And even if you happen to have that the person comes to your life and you're going to be together, but it's not the main goal because you feel so connected of who you are and you love this version of you. This is why I always say that Twin Flame journey changes in time and place. It's never going to be the exact way you are at this moment. But we need to embrace where you are at this moment. There is no fast track. I often think that like when I hear that we say, oh, I'm going to do this course and I'm going to go this and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. And I'm like, yeah, you can do all of that for you. This is for you, for you to connect. But it's not, don't do ever anything in this life because you think they're going to make a difference. Because if they don't want to make a shift from their ego, if they want to stay where they are, even though they can be the unhappiest, saddest, whatever, it's their ego journey in that time. The soul journey is different. It will break them apart sooner or later. You will see. You will see. I, I would ask the question here. Did you manage to run away from the awakening? Did you manage to stop this energy? If you did, teach us all, say it. Because once the awakening starts, you cannot stop it. The energy is so much more profound. That's why the dark night of the soul, that's why the separation, that's why the pain, but the profound connection with one another. I would have so much to say, but I definitely need to keep each one of these questions for a separate episode and go in detail. If you have any question or any topic that you feel, I would like to hear about this, I would like to know more about that, always leave a comment, it will come up. Today we were supposed to have a guest post as well, but we are already in a time that it will miss. Let's do it on Wednesday. Uh, so... This is it. This is for today. I just quickly go through again for those of you who don't know. A retreat happens in November in Cyprus. We have final spot available. If you would like to come, the links are in bio. Please register today and you are registered. Final spot. And from there on, we close for this year and we'll see you next year. 808 event. Lionsgate portal event, manifestation and union event will happen on three time slots. All of them are again in bio. You can book 6 a.m. for Paris time or midnight at New York time or 6.30 
uh, or six o'clock in New York time. There are many different times. I would really, really highly recommend if you can do this in the morning hour, the better it is because more connected you are, but evening works as well. I just, you can do whichever meditation, whichever energy activation, whichever, but I just really, really would like to remind you, embrace that day. Don't run from this day. Don't think, don't think of it. Oh, it's just another something. It's a very profound event because it's 888 because it's 8th of August and 2024 comes together 8. So it's an infinity portal this year. And what, whichever energy you're going to jump into this infinity portal, you're going to manifest. And those of you who would like to have a call or energy activations or connection and channeling, twinflameawakeningjourney.com, more than welcome. As you know, the first call always comes with an energy, short, very short energy activation to see if you are on this journey, what's going to happen, how you're going to become one. Most powerful and most profound connect, uh, uh, sessions are channeling and energy activation sessions. I will put them together. These are coming up. And of course, just talking, sharing, getting out of you. And that's why the retreat is so profound because you get to speak your truth. All of that heaviness, for example, you've been hiding from others or, or you haven't sh said it out or you've been trying to mask. And now you have an opportunity to say this out loud. I, you, you just don't know the power when you get to admit it and say it out. It's like, you feel like I don't need to hide anymore. Like maybe for people that say, oh, who've been hiding, let's say, their sex preferences or something like this, they would maybe understand the best that they've been trying to hide that, let's say, they don't like women or they don't like men or whichever way, you know. And then one day you can finally say it out that, no, I love, as a man, I love men or, or something. And you get to say this out and it feels so releasing because you don't have to pretend to be so, nobody else anymore. And... Uh, so that's why I say that maybe we don't sometimes understand how much power we have when we say our truth. Anyways, that was today's episode. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, if you have anything you would like me to share about, feel free to leave the comment, share your experience on Patreon. You have the workshops until we meet on 4th of August for the free event and 8th of August. The tickets are on sale right now. Get yours before they're sold out. I didn't expect that they're gonna go so quickly, but thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for trusting me on your journey to get you to oneness, to connect with your source. Lots of love, lots of happiness, lots of light. You are amazing. I am free. I hear your whisper through the wind. There's no place that I would rather be So let this moment last I've searched myself I've tried to figure out Who I am And you were always there to lift me up Cause no one else There's no place that I would rather be 
So let this moment last I've searched myself I've tried to figure 